Let's discuss the trade that San Jose made. And I think as we see the list of names and picks going both ways here, Brownie, it tells you something about this deal. GM Mike Greer, along with the New Jersey Devils, they didn't just throw this together. When it's this wide and this deep, there had to have been a lot of conversation because there are NHLers here, there's AHLers here, there's ECHLers here, there's KHLers here, and there's draft picks here. Yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into this, especially with the salary cap nowadays. If you look around the league, trying to make the numbers work for everybody involved. Right. And you're looking at New Jersey, they're having a breakout season. They want uh, to bring a, a player like Timo Meyer in for the right here and now. Right. They want to go make a splash. Why? Because other teams are doing the same. And uh, you'd have to read all those names to try to figure it out. We'll get to see a couple of them right here tonight. Well, Fabian Sederlund has the most experience in the NHL this season. Obviously, Janssen has played more and longer uh, games. But Zetterlin this year, six goals, 14 helpers, 20 points in 45 games with the Devils. I think it is a little bit repetitive. But when players come west to this edition of the San Jose Sharks, what ends up happening is they can expect a bigger role. Opportunity. Like when would it be thought or yeah. Janssen thought they'd get an opportunity to play with a player like, um, in this case, Hurdle. Hurdle on his right? line, right. So what a great opportunity. They're going to give these guys every uh, chance to come out uh, and, you know, boost uh, their early careers here in San Jose. And you, you don't know what a player is capable of if they're not given that opportunity. So do, these are just great opportunities for these players, uh, whether they were expecting it or not. Um, it doesn't matter. They were a part of that deal. And now that they have to go act professionally and, and go play hard for their new team. Andreas Janssen is the eldest player in this transaction. He's 28 years old, 113 points in 248 NHL games. Those were all with the Devils as well as Toronto. So in terms of the most experience, at least coming to San Jose, you're looking at it right there in the brand new number 18. Well, and with the season under his belt with Toronto scoring 20 plus goals, that's exactly what Mike Greer and uh, his group are looking at is can we reignite something that we know is in this player, uh, just hasn't been there for a couple seasons. Hedy also mentioned he won the Calder Cup uh, as a leader and MVP with that group. So there's something there in the foundation of this player and hopefully it comes out uh, as he puts on Teal. Everybody's got perspectives on what San Jose did. I'm here to say, I think it open up, opens up the door for them next season with $10 million of salary cap space to now play with. That's what Timo Meyer would have been owed in a qualifying offer. They now have that. Let's see what they do with that. But like I said, everybody's got a take on this, including Ted Ramey, thanks to WebEx by Cisco. Okay, one big trade went down for the San Jose Sharks. We don't know if it's the only big trade they are going to make, but it's a pretty big one in Timo Meyer going to New Jersey. Now, immediately, everybody is saying that the Devils won the trade. And in the here and now, yeah, they got Timo Meyer for a contender like themselves. That definitely gives them a big boost to their lineup. But for the San Jose Sharks, this move was never about today. It's about next year, the year after, and the year after as to when this team does start to contend again. When asked when that timeline specifically is, Mike Greer did not have a specific answer, which in my opinion is fair because we just don't know right now. Some of our young guys that are on the NHL roster and the young guys that um, we've drafted in, in our prospect pool and the guys down in Barracuda that, um, you know, we're gonna, we'll flip this around. And like I said, it's not, I'm not just looking for picks and things always back. I'm gonna always be looking to try and put build this team out and, and, and acquire players that I think fit what we're looking for and, and keep, keep pushing this thing forward. It was never expected that this was going to be a quick process. In fact, one of the things that Mike Greer said at his introductory press conference was that the team might have to take a step back in order to take a step forward. This most certainly would fall in line with that thinking. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio.